Summer of Rage, introduced by Stephen King, Shooter Jennings, our guest, very successful musician in his own right. They just shot a music video that will be out later in the week. The album is released tomorrow. Okay, we've been playing a lot of music, and we haven't had time to comment on the tracks. I mean, uh, talking about the death machine in Summer of Rage. Let's talk about Summer of Rage and the message in that song. It's just a small piece of it, folks. Then I want to go back through Everything is Illusion, Lights in the Sky, and also talk about uh, your uh, creative process with Stephen King. Uh, but let's talk about, uh, again, Summer of Rage, what you're talking about there. Man, yeah, that, that song is kind of the most direct, I feel like, of all, of the, all the songs on the record, kind of dealing with the, the state of the world right now. I mean, you know, we talk about the FEMA camps and the vaccinations in that song, and, and as well as just the fact that, you know, with all the changes in the world, the agenda is still full on, on uh, par, it seems, with these people. So uh, it, to me... That was that song is kind of a song to my daughter and the kind of fear uh, of the world that she's going to inherit, you know, because we're definitely not turning things around. I mean, it's it's definitely a, uh, a a scary thing coming, you know. And like we like I said, we shot a video for this uh, that Dre and I directed um, that we should have up pretty soon uh, for Summer of Rage. We're still kind of editing it now, but it's like that. The culture of the world, you know, it, it, it's scary. People uh, sit their kids in front of the TV or are babysat by these little mind control boxes, and, and the, uh, you know, the, the, the government's preparing for world war, mass genocide, and and they're, you know, with these H one H one N one vaccinations are in every mall and every airport, and it's like all this stuff is just, you know, building into this massive shadow that kind of looms over everything and, and so summer of rage and the title was taken from a lot of the um you know there were there was a lot of riots going on last summer um when when the economy fell and different people were dying and all these different countries over this economic collapse they were saying you know should america prepare for a summer of rage like these other people have had and, and it really frightened me and during the process, I tried to bring a lot of, of writing this record, I tried to bring a lot of those emotions to the top. And Summer of Rage is a perfect example of that. Well, Shooter, that's why I think it's so important that most people get married and have children, because it's biological and it's also spiritual at the same time. You become a less worldly person. You become more focused. Uh, you understand that even if you've been worldly previously, which all of us have been to a certain extent, and selfish that you really are tied into the larger human experience when you have children it starts something biological in you where you do want to make a better world uh, because it's you realize very true. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you I'm just saying no no go ahead true. it's very true you know I, I i know people it's funny just the people that i know who have had children i was having this conversation the other day it's just there's something that happens in you and it it, it changes everything and, and to me those are the people on this planet that are going to be the only people on this planet, I feel, that are really going to uh, have their head straight for a, for a positive future are the people that, that have experienced that, having children. I mean, I'm not to say that there aren't people who don't have children that won't have this kind of positive influence on the world, but I really think it is a giant impact. I mean, for me, I was the same way. You couldn't have said it better, being worldly and being selfish, you know, and you, you make... There's almost a certain responsibility to yourself that you don't have until you have a child, and, and it's... With me, with my music, with her, a lot of the inspiration too for this record was me feeling like I had to be, I had to be putting a message forward that she's going to be able to look back on and and um, you know study or or just learn from. And I, you know, I had to be responsible. It's all fun doing songs about getting drunk and partying, but you know, at the end of the day, that's not what the human experience is about. That's just things that deter the human experience. And it, and it really, for for me, it was. This whole record was kind of that 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 emotion of uh, trying to better the world through her. Let's talk a little bit about Stephen King. And coming up later in the hour, we have a really long segment. We'll have plenty of time. But uh, uh, talking to you, I, I guess Stephen King's a fan of Shooter Jennings, and he wrote about you or used a character named Shooter Jennings in your book. Then you reached out to him, or how did you end up having Stephen King do spoken word intros to your album? Well, I, he had written really nice things about my music and his columns uh, in Entertainment Weekly, and um, and I had, 
I was always completely flattered. And then he wrote this book called Lysy Story, which took place in Nashville. And my name is in it, but it's just in passing. Like, it was like a moment where this, this girl was in a car, and she was upset, and it wasn't the time for Shooter Jennings on the radio, basically, <laughs> what it said. And so I knew that I was on his radar, and when I was kind of creating this record, I had always wanted this, the record really be about this um, this talk radio guy, and and I just had my mindset on trying to reach out to him, and, and I did finally uh, via email, and like we were saying, I've still never spoken to him or, or met him. It was all an email interaction, but uh, but I, I wrote him and and said, you know, I've got this album, and I know you're probably busy. Well, he wrote me back, you know, and he was like, so nice. I mean, so gracious, so nice, but he said he was busy, he had a lot of things going on, he was, he was afraid he might not be able to come through, but if I wasn't too discouraged to send him the record and the ideas, and I did, and we just kept uh, emailing back and forth over the period of a couple months, and, and um, he was just so generous and cool and gracious and, and like, you know, just everything that that you would... That, I mean, he just was just an unbelievable human being, and so <laughs> here I was with Stephen King on the hook, and I'm like, oh, man, now I felt like an idiot because I've gotten him, you know, gotten his ear. And I was like, I better deliver with this. So <laughs> we, uh, I finally sent him some tracks. And, and then after a while, like, I could tell he, he was really into it. But he didn't, I, I don't think I was doing a good job of, of kind of showing him exactly what I meant by the, by the role. And so I wrote this uh, kind of draft script, which I sent to him. And, uh, man, like... Uh, you know, a month later on my doorstep, I had this package that had a CD with a picture of him in the studio doing the tracks on the CD and, and the uh, transcript that he had adjusted and added a bunch of great stuff. And he came up with the ending for the whole thing. And it was really just a real magical thing. And I, I owe him a lot because it was such a gracious, you know, use of his time for, for silly old me kind of thing, you know. Absolutely. We're going to go out here. We're going to come back and talk more about uh, your interactions uh, with Stephen King and, and, and where his mindset is and how you guys came up with this particular uh, talk radio uh, character. Uh, but uh, next, we're going to go out with The Illuminated, just a small clip of that, and then come back with more Stephen King when the radio goes dead. Uh, so stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Shooter Jennings premiering much of his new album here today, Black Ribbons.